Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to know that we can persevere because of the man Christ Jesus. That we can persevere through the trials, through the storm, through the situation of circumstances. That God will be with us even through the shadow of the valley of death. Oh, what a powerful revelation that is. Because Jesus Christ has promised never to forsake us nor leave us. Regardless if we're going through, he going through with us. Regardless if we're going into the fiery furnace, guess what? He going into the fiery furnace too. Regardless if we're on our sick bed, just guess what? Jesus Christ is there too. Listen, we can make our mount our bed on high or we can go to the into hell. Jesus Christ is there with us. Hallelujah. What a powerful revelation that is. Hey, we want to thank you all. We want to welcome you all. We are so grateful that you all are here with us today at the Ark of the Covenant Ministry number two, going through the Bible in 10. A 10 minute devotional that goes line by line, verse by verse, word by word through the word of God. And we are so thankful. And we do this to edify. We do this to encourage. We do this to inspire. We do this to bring substance to one in times of trouble, in times of heartache and pain, in times of confusion and spiritual attacks, in time of being turned around. Listen, we do this in times of lack, in times of the bed of affliction, in times of hurt, heartaches, and pain. Listen, we do to have substance to prepare one to get ready for the Lord. Are you ready to meet the Lord, to have substance as a uh, it says in the word of God in the book of Amos chapter 4 verse 12. The Bible tells us in Amos chapter 8 verse 11 and 12. Listen, that there was going to come a time where there is going, you're going to go to and fro, not looking for bread or meat, but looking for the word of God. And it was going not to be found. The Bible tells the same thing in the book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 26, I believe. It also says the same thing in Micah chapter Chapter 3, I believe, verse 6, that the, listen, that the prophets, the, the darkness will fall over the prophets. Listen, we do this so in times of, in, in, in times of being drained, in times of being wrapped up, in times that you don't lose out on not turning to the word of God, that you don't lose out on not wanting the word of God, that you first go to God first regardless of the situation or circumstance. Listen, that you go to God first. Don't look at the seen. Go to the unseen. Don't look at what's happening. Go to the one and ask God, what do you want from me from this situation? What are you doing in this situation? Listen, go to the God first. First, and that's why we are so grateful and so blessed that we are called into this ministry. And we want you to be a part of this ministry. We want you to share, share, share the videos. Share them with your family, your friends, your loved ones. Share them with those that's going through. Share them with those you're praying for, you're witnessing to, your small groups, your church family, those that's in college, those that's in the armed forces. Listen, your aunties, your nieces, your nephews, your grandchildren, share them with your mother and father, share them with your teachers, share them with your doctors, share them with your nurses, share, share, share the videos. Also, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the ARK, A-R-K of O-F, the T-H-E Covenant, C-O-V-E-N-A-N-T Ministry, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, the number two, and you'll see our symbol 
right here that says being an instrument used by God to reach those that cannot reach up. And we want you to go through our different videos there. We have all types of videos there. We got Bible study videos. We got different series that we have taught. We, in the midst of a series now, going through the book of Ephesians. We did Ephesians chapter 1, Understanding and Understanding Part 2. We did chapter 2, entitled Grace. Now we're going to go to chapter 3, and that's entitled Strength. So come on by at 11 o'clock and at 12.30 on YouTube and rejoice with us in the Word of God. As well as we want you to continue to go through all the videos. Listen, leave us a comment on what the video had affected you, how the video illuminated things in your life. Let us know how the video affected those that you shared it to. Listen, please. Uh, uh, leave us a comment about what series you might want us to teach or either what which ones you want us to bring back if you want us to bring back the Ark of the, Co the, the Covenant Seekers Detective game or maybe you want us to bring back prayer and story time with a collaboration with me and my wife did together which is a powerful ministry. Let us know. Give Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video is uploaded. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right? And we want you to know that we are so thankful and so grateful of all the prayers and, and all, all those that's lifting up my family. We are so grateful for all the prayers that y'all are covering us with, that y'all have taken us to the throne of grace. We are so grateful for that. We are so thankful for that as you praying for our daughter Nakia as she is going through a medical situations right now and at the hospital. How y'all praying for my wife and giving her strength as she has to be there with her and, and watching over her and making sure that things go the way they was going. We want to thank you all for praying and lifting us up where God has responded and, and send a uh, proper specialist there to make sure that the things that is needed is going to be provided, that God gave them the wisdom to know exactly what to do and exactly how to do it. We're so grateful for all of that. We're so thankful that God is being illuminated, that God is being magnified, that God is being glorified in this situation. We are so grateful for all of you all and what all you have done and we just going to continue to pray for your situations in your household, your family, your friends, your loved ones, even your enemies, we're going to continue to pray for and we want you to know we are so grateful at this time to be here with you all. So right now get your Bibles get your Bibles and we want our family, our Ark of the Covenant ministry family to know uh, uh, our covenant keepers, our covenant seekers, those seeking the man Christ Jesus, the body of Christ. Listen, we still call it out to you all. Uh, listen, we want somebody to go to Spotify podcast and see if you can find the Ark of the Covenant ministry. You should see our symbol right here. And we asking that if you let us know if you can find it or you can't find it. When I went there, they changed everything, and I couldn't hardly see, couldn't hardly recognize what was the whole stuff looked different to me, and I couldn't find it. And I'm not that savvy, but I know some of you all are computer savvy. Listen, let me know uh, if it's there, if it's not there. Let me know what I need to do because I didn't have no premium account or anything like that. I just had uploaded it on there, a lot of stuff on there. So let me know. Please let me know, all right? Okay, then. All right, get your Bibles and get ready because here we are at the Ark of the Covenant Ministry, number two, going through the Bible in 10. Genesis chapter 7, verse 14. And all those things of their own kind, the cattle of their own kind, the beast of their own kind, the fowls and their own kind, all the birds of the air and their own kind as such. 
Oh, Lord, what a powerful, powerful, powerful verse that is. Well, we want you to know we're going to spend three minutes on interpretation, three minutes on revelation, and three minutes on application, and one minute to wrap it all up. Now, this here is a powerful, powerful verse here. As God has united things from which they're their own kind, they're their own type, and he told them to bring them in along with them, to bring them right along with them. Notice how God is preserving. Notice how God is protecting. Notice how God is administrating this thing, how God is bringing forth a new beginning, but God is, is has made a way to use what he has already had and use it for there for his multiplication. Understand that it was already created. Understand that it was already done. Understand that it was already in in place and God called it out from one place and bringing it to another place for its own multiplication of its own kind. In other words, listen, God didn't, he could have said, listen, all of it need to go away. All of it needs to be thrown away and, and destroyed. And I can start over from new. Just like he created them in the beginning, he could create them right now. But understand that God is using those things right there. God is bringing those things that he had already had established. He is he had to have a remnant of the ones that he wanted to receive, the ones that he wanted to use, the one that he was going to bring forth to multiply. That is a powerful revelation for you and I. That lets us know that God has a protective covering over those that he wants to use, over those that is his, over those that is called out for him, over those that is is his reproduction. Remember, God has called out unto Israel over all the other nations. He has chosen the nation of Israel and he has called them out. He has been covering them. He has been nurturing them. He has been bringing them forth. And then he called out unto you and I because of the man Christ Jesus. And he has called us out. He has brought us out of different darkness, different situations, different and circumstances. He has called us out and planted us in different places for his multiplication. He has called us out of his own kind, of his own kind. He didn't call those that wasn't his kind. He called the world to become his kind. He called us all to become his kind so he can plant us, that he can use us for multiplication. He called us out and that's a powerful thing that God is calling out, that God is bringing out, that God is using, that God is beginning and replanting, that there is a powerful revelation there for you and I to grab a hold to. Now, let's look at the the revelation of this particular verse. Let's look at the power of what God is saying in this particular verse. Now, the Bible tells us that since in Genesis chapter 7, which means completion, and 14 means perseverance, that you can, you are complete and you can persevere. You can press on. You can continue to press on to the high mark of the high calling of Christ Jesus through trials and tribulations, through whatever the situation and circumstance is, is, you can still persevere. You can still press on. You can still continue on. Regardless of what it looks like, regardless of how it looks, regardless of the, what the people are saying, regardless of what the diagnosis is, regardless of the pain that we're going through, regardless of the people that's attacking us, regardless of the job situation, regardless of the lack that we have, regardless of the understanding that we don't have, regardless 
regardless, 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 that we can still persevere. Why? Because we're not looking at the situation or the circumstance. We're not looking at what is before us. We're not looking at who is saying this and who is saying that. We're not looking at other than that because God is the one that called us out. God is the one that puts us in this situation. God is the author of this particular situation. Either God caused it or God allowed it. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Because God is doing something in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the situation, in the midst of the circumstance. God is doing something that is going to illuminate him and magnify him by our way of going persevering through, by our way of holding on to Jesus Christ's unchanging hand. He is going to bless us in the midst of our riches in heavenly places. He is going to give us our understanding as we go through these trials and tribulations. He's going to grow us as he implant us as we multiply for him. What a powerful revelation. And we ask how do we live through this? How do we do this? How do we go through these that live this on a day to day basis with all the situation and circumstances going on? All the fear that's going on. All the unknown that's going on, all the things that we can't see and all the things that we don't understand. How do we walk in this? How do we maintain this? The Bible gives a clear understanding that regardless of what what is happening, regardless of how it's happening, regardless of when it's happening, listen, first we look with him. First we look in the invisible, not in the seen. And the Bible tells us that we magnify Jesus Christ. We praise his holy name. We lift him up. And as we praise him and lift him up, he inhabit our praises. He rejoices in us. He sings along with us as we lifting him up in the situation of the circumstance. And as we find out what God says about it and walk in that instead of what the world says about it, instead of what your friends say about it, instead of what the diagnosis say about it, we're going to rejoice in him. We're going to lift him up. We're going to praise his name. When the pain gets great, we're going to sing unto the Lord and pray. The Bible says pray when, when you in, in, in your suffering times. The Bible said pray in your suffering, in your weak time. The Bible tells us to call on the elders when we can't got another word we can say. Why we feel like our words can't get through. This is why we need to be connected to a local church because it says when we in that situation and in that circumstance when when we are weary from our sicknesses and can on call upon the elders let them anoint you and pray over you and and let the let God be brought forth listen let the let those ministries come and minister unto you. Let God be brought unto you as he did with David in Psalms 27 verse I believe verse number 5 when he said he anointed my head. <laughs> Listen, God didn't come down and pour oil on him. What God did is gave him a refreshing, gave him a renewing and that's what the elders do. They give you a renewing, a refreshing, a strengthening that you didn't have before because you were so weary of this sickness Listen, continue to hold on to God's changing hand, knowing that you are complete in God and you can persevere through the trials and tribulations. The Bible tells us that we can persevere regardless of the situation and circumstance, regardless of how heavy the cross is. We might have to fall down on one knee, but we can get back up again. We might fall down seven times, but get back up again and continue to persevere, continue to go forth in the man Christ Jesus. What a powerful, powerful revelation that is. Maybe there's someone here right now going through some tough times. They're going through some situations and circumstances that had, had them to turn away from Christ. 
that they went some some direction else. They looked at the world and listened to what the world has to say, and they turned away from God. Maybe right now is someone in the sound of my voice. Maybe it's time for them to turn back to the man Christ Jesus. Maybe there's someone here that has have an opportunity to grab hold to the man Christ Jesus. Maybe you didn't realize that you needed Christ as much as you need him. Maybe you didn't have never even heard the truth about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Listen, God is calling. God is calling. The Bible said that God wished that no man should perish, that all shall come unto repentance. The Bible said that God so loved the world that he gave, that God released all that he was, all that he is, and all that he would ever be. He released that unto us, that he gave his only begotten son unto us. The Bible tells us that we take it by faith and believe in our heart that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He lived upon this earth, that Jesus Christ went to the cross for your sins and my sins, for your disobedience and my disobedience, for my lies and for my thievery, for all of my fornications and all of my covetedness. God went to the cross for it, and he went to the cross for yours as well. God, there's no sin that God's precious blood can't cover. God nailed all the sins and disobedience upon that cross. God has nailed it there. He has nailed our victory, our freedom, our overcoming upon that cross. And God cried, Jesus Christ cried out that it is finished, that all the payment has been paid. All of the requirements have been met, and Jesus Christ met it all, and he died upon that cross. They took his body down and set it in a borrowed tomb. He stayed there three days, and on the third day, early that morning, he rose again. And the Bible tells us that he ascended up on high and sat down at the right hand of the Father, making prayers for you and I, and waiting for his triumphant return of, to gather up his church. The Bible says you take it all by faith and believe it. The Bible says then he wants you to turn from your ways and turn toward him. And the Bible tells us that thou shalt believe in thy heart on the Lord Jesus that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So God wants you to confess it. He tells us if we can't confess Jesus Christ before men, he won't be able to confess you before God. So God wants you to cry out. It don't make a difference where you are right now. It don't make a difference of who around you right now. It don't make a difference of what you're doing right now. Cry out unto the Lord and tell the Lord, Lord, I am a sinner. And Lord, I'm, I am right now crying out for forgiveness. Lord, I know you are the Savior. I know you the Christ. I know that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. I know that you are the way, the truth, and the light. Father God, right now I cry out unto you, Lord. Have mercy on my soul. Pour out your grace upon me, Lord. As I turn from my ways and turn toward you, Jesus Christ, save my soul. And thank Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. And then I want you to get you a Bible. Start studying and reading that Bible. And then I want you to let the Lord lead you to a sin-hating Bible preaching church. And when you get there, make a public confession of your salvation by the way of baptism. And then I want you to start walking in the name of Christ Jesus. I want you to start thinking in the way of Christ Jesus. I want you to start doing in the way of Christ Jesus. I want you to start speaking in the way of Christ Jesus. Regardless of the situation and circumstance, turn to Christ Jesus. Regardless of the attack, turn to Christ Jesus. Regardless of the pitfall, 
turn to Christ Jesus. Regardless of what the world is saying, turn to Christ Jesus. Regardless of what your friends and your family are saying, turn to Christ Jesus. You always remember, go to the unseen and let the unseen manifest itself in the seen as the enemy is manifesting himself in the seen. Let Remember that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Turn toward the man creed. Jesus Christ first in all things, in all ways, in all situations and circumstances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We so grateful and thankful and we want you to know well, uh, remember, share, share, share the videos. Share them with your family, your friends. Share them with everybody that you know. Listen, also, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the ARK, A-R-K, of O-F, the T-H-E, Covenant, C-O-V-E-N-A-N-T, Ministry, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, the number two, and you will see our symbol, Remember to subscribe, subscribe, leave us a comment, hit that notification bell as well. Also, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Remember, my family, my friends, my Ark of the Covenant members, family, my covenant seekers, the body of Christ, those that seek in the man Christ Jesus, somebody go to Spotify for me. Spotify podcast and see if you see our symbol there with our name, Ark of the Covenant Ministry. See if you can find our podcast. Let me know if you can. Let me know if you can't. Okay? I know I'll be so, excuse me, ever more grateful because I went there and everything looked all haywire new to me. I couldn't find nothing. So help me out if you can. And remember, we're going to be praying for you all as you pray for us as we so grateful as you all have taken our daughter Nakia to the throne of grace. You're taking me and my wife to the throne of grace. We're so grateful for it and so thankful for it as you all have covered us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and the spirit of the Lord which has endowed us with strength to continue on. And we're so grateful because of your prayers God has released unto us uh uh, specialists to come in and to work out the situation as God's using their hands for the healing that God is providing. We are so grateful for that and so thankful as y'all have strengthened us as we also are praying for the Moss family, uh, Marcus Moss and Bridget because of Marcus has lost his sister so we praying for that comfort and peace. We thanking God for lifting Brother Ronnie up as we praying for him and we could pray continually for his healing as God has brought him out the nursing home and got him back home as we pray for brother Cliff as God has healed his body and we so thankful as we cried out unto the Lord for him and we continue to pray for him and his family as we pray for their salvation as we continue to pray for brother Trail and his family as the Lord has brought Trail Jr. out of the Nick unit has, has brought him home. We are so grateful and thankful for that as we continue to pray for him and his family and their salvation. As we continue to pray for Virginia and her health, as we continue to pray for her strength, her comfort, her peace, as we pray for Courtney, as we continue to pray for the Dean family, as we continue to pray for all of my family, all of my wife's family, as we pray for Austin and Michael and Deborah, as we pray for Buki and Shay, as we pray for Carla and her son, as we continue to pray for all of them, as we pray for the church, as we pray for the church leaders and the ministries that they continue to magnify Jesus Christ, continue to edify the body of Christ, continue to multiply the kingdom of God, and continue to glorify God the Father and his plan as we pray for the blood of Jesus Christ and the spirit of the Lord to saturate our homes, to saturate our businesses, to saturate all entities, to saturate all our thresholds, Lord, and those that's in our businesses and in our homes and in our entities as we pray for those that's in hospitals and nursing homes, residential care. We pray for all our children that the spirit of the Lord and the blood of Jesus Christ saturate them. We pray 
in for all detention centers, all jails, all institutions that the blood of Jesus Christ and the spirit of the Lord saturated. Father God, we pray right now, Lord, for your saturation upon us, Lord, for your baptism of your Holy Spirit, Lord, for the filling of the Holy Spirit, Father God. We pray right now that the tearing down of strongholds, Lord, the breaking of shackles, Father God, destroying the works of the enemy, Lord, binding up the adversary, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, casting him back from which he came. Father God, we pray for your wisdom, Lord. We pray for your understanding, your guidance, Lord. Father God, we asking that you manifest yourself in all situations and circumstances, Lord, that you get the glory out of all situations and circumstances. Father God, we praying as we bow before you, Lord, and submitting ourselves unto you for your usage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Glory to God. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Remember <clears throat> that Jesus loves you, and so do we. Bye-bye now.